Hey, what's up everyone? This is DT here, Delta Tango, Daddy T, one of the good guys. And I'm bringing you another video, as promised. Yes, I keep my promises. Just ask Mama T. Now, I had a good bud of mine come out of Norfolk, Virginia to work out here for a few weeks in this great city of Yokosuka, and he wanted me to take him out somewhere to eat. Now, he didn't have a car because he was just visiting here, of course, so I told him I'd drive him and take him to a local spot. Now, this place isn't a chain as far as I know. I could be wrong. If you have seen this place in another town, comment below. Today, we're going to Family Garden. Oh, yeah located right here in Yokosuka, Japan, Kanagawa Ken, at the address below. Come and see what we ordered and check out this menu so you can know what to order when you're on your way here. You won't regret it. Also, if you don't have a car, that's okay. Get on the KQ line and I think the closest station is actually Horonochi Station. It's about a 10 minute walk. Before we head in though, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below this video or the small red square on the bottom right of this video. That'd be mighty nice of you. And you can stay up to date with all my content, and there will be more. That's a daddy T guarantee. All right, all right, let's go. Now, when you go inside a restaurant, you want to tell them how many people are in your party by saying the word may after the Japanese number. For example, it's me and my buddy DW, so I would tell them, Nime. For three people, it would be Sanme, and so on and so forth. Now, this is a non smoking restaurant. However, some restaurants have smoking sections. If you want a non smoking section, you would say Keen N. If you want to light one up, you would be in a smoking section. Therefore, you would say Kitsu N. This would come after they ask you a question that sounds something like, Tobacco suimasuka, or are you smoking? So now let's take a look at the menu. But hold up, wait a minute, let me put some cake in, in it. Check out these cakes though. Mm -hmm. You like cakes? I do. And they also have a cake set here. What that means is that they bring out a plate full of cakes so that you can choose which one you want with your set if you opt for that. Also, you can take a few of these bad boys home with you. Now this place serves pizzas, hamburgers, steaks, grilled chickens, and other things. They have a lunch menu and a grand menu, which is a common phrase used for the standard menu at every restaurant in Japan. Now let's look at both of them, shall we? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I see that there. Now see, my recommendation is this Family Garden Burger. It's relatively new. They started serving it here a year or two ago. The bun is slightly toasted, comes with pickles, and it's one of my favorite. Another one of my favorites is the grilled chicken with garlic and the steak plate. But let's keep looking. I think DW wants that grilled chicken I was just talking about. He's got a little drool coming out of his mouth, but he told me not to put that in the film. And I promise. And like I said, I keep those. <laughs> okay, so we're going to order the garden burger and a grilled chicken with garlic on top. And with that dish comes different sauces for the chicken. I'm going to go over those. They are demi glace, ni niku, or garlic sauce. My favorite, by the way. Wafu sauce, which is a Japanese style sauce, basically soy sauce. The fourth is wasabi sauce for all you wasabi lovers out there. And five is sesame sauce. 
he's choosing the garlic sauce or ni niku. Good man, that DW. So let's check out the soft drink, shall we? All right. Save your phone. I got this. Coca-Cola, Minute Maid Orange, Calpis, Oolong Tea, Vegetable Juice, Iced Coffee, Mate Tea, Kocha, Fanta Melon Soda, Apple Juice, White Grape Juice, Special Tea, Tropical Iced Tea, Hot Coffee, Black Oolong Tea, and also the drinks with the black dots, the last three, Free refills on those bad boys so if you ordered a dish with a hot plate like DW did they would give you a long napkin this napkin is to be used as a shield of sorts to protect your clothing like a bib for adults <laughs> half of it goes on the table and you hold the other half upright while they pour the sauce on your chicken or steak And we're just chomping away and DW picked up the tab he's a classy guy I'm driving and he's buying and I'm good with that thanks OG and everything's priced reasonably here whether it's at lunch or at dinner they take all major credit cards and yet of course and as I mentioned before you can pick out whatever cakes you want while you're at the register checking out it's quite all right and I hope you enjoyed this ep. You learned how to say smoking and non-smoking, how to say how many people are in your party, and a lot of other things if you picked up on them. Like the Japanese word for garlic and how to use that huge napkin shield <laughs> so you don't go back to work with a huge sauce stain. That would suck. But it'd be kind of worth it because the food here is quite good. I take my family here and I hope you do someday too. And with that, I want to thank you again, the viewers, and especially my subscribers who have shown much love and support and in a year when we all need it. I thank you and I wish you all a safe and happy holidays. But hold on, that doesn't mean that this is my last episode of the year. Heck no. <laughs> Stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. DT out.